Welcome, Cancers. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, so I had someone contact me and, you know, requesting for the case of the X series to bring back the case of the X series. We know we want to see how the exes feel, if they want to reconcile for some of you that may want to reconcile with your ex, okay? So let's take a look. I was just pulling you guys this energy to see how they felt, you know, about you or how they view you. Okay, so I want to tell you what I got here so far before we jump into. All right, so I have four cards that jumped out. We have release your ex, okay? And we have unrequited love. And we have stay optimistic about your love life. And we have finances and career. Okay, so it looks like there was a cutoff, okay? Because we got the queen of swords here. And the queen of swords... She is not about to play with you at all, okay? She's going for the truth. She's going to get to the bottom of it. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius because I got lots of swords here. I have the strength card as well. Could be dealing with the Leo, okay? And a Scorpio here. Scorpio's energy is here as well. But I do see that there may have been someone cut somebody off with no remorse, okay? They feel like you, you just cut them off like you did them like... <laughs> You just flat out cut them off. Like, they feel like you just dis dismiss them, okay? And I want to see why is the Queen of Swords here. Ooh, and don't come back. Ooh! Like, you just was like, ah, don't, don't even come back, okay? Don't even come back, okay? Six of Pentacles. This is when there's equal give and take, okay? Yeah, you didn't want to talk. Someone didn't want to talk to somebody, okay? Someone did, just was acting nonchalant like they didn't want to talk, okay? They feel like you cut them off and you did not. They wasn't sure if you were going to come back. And maybe you haven't been answering their calls or you've been ignoring them is what I'm getting. I'm getting like someone's been ignoring. <laughs> you guys have been ignoring them, okay? <laughs> Let's see what the Ace of Swords is hit in reverse. This is when the full truth isn't out. Yeah, we got the sun card and the devil. Wow. You could be dealing with the Leo, like I said before, or a Capricorn. Because we look, we got the Queen of Wands here in the reverse at the bottom. Three of Wands. Somebody was waiting. They was waiting on you to come towards them with some type of, you know, some type of passionate pass. Okay. Maybe for sex because I got the devil and the sun card here. This is some good loving, but it could be kind of toxic at the same time. You know how you deal with somebody and like they could be like ain't shit, but you know, the sex is good. That type of thing. Okay. Something about the situation was definitely unrequited, okay? And possibly a little toxic. Why is the sun card here? Mmm, the nine of wands. Like trying to block their shine. Ooh, why is the nine of wands in the reverse? I feel like they're trying to get you to let your guard down as well, okay? There was a missed opportunity here, okay? They feel like they missed the opportunity um, with you as well. They feel like they missed some type of opportunity. Wow. Staying optimistic. Let's see, why is the strength card here? They're trying to stay strong, keep it together, but some of them are kind of like, feel like you have given up on them. But, they, but I do feel like they feel like you'll come running back. With the Knight of Swords here, it's like, yeah, you trying to play tough. You trying to play tough with the strength card. You trying to play tough, okay? But soon as you drop your guard, you'll be back. When I get you to drop that guard, you'll be back. Empress in reverse, huh? Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Someone's mother could be involved as well. Someone's mother or a female, another female could be involved, okay? But they feel like you might come back and need them with this justice card here. Like, you'll be back. You'll need me. They do see that you are very focused on your finances and your career. Career, Okay, that's where your attention is at. Why is the Six of Wands here?
you are definitely stuck in their head. Like, they can't stop thinking about you. Okay? They can't stop thinking about you. Ooh. And they just waiting it out because they feel like y'all got unfinished business. They feel like y'all got unfinished business. And they're just waiting it out. Hang hey, man. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Yep, they waiting on you to call. Mm -hmm. They waiting on it. They waiting for you to think about them and contact them and reach out to them. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Can't say. Woo. Let's see. Give me past, present, and future energy. How do they feel? How do they view my cancers? How are they viewing my cancers? How are they viewing my cancers? How are they viewing cancers? Y'all click, click the like button. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe because I just feel like it's about to get real juicy. All right, we got kisses. Look at them. Ooh. Kisses. Okay. All right. We got keys on a ring and then a whole bunch of other stuff popped out that I'm not going to take but we'll see here we got kisses keys on a ring and love calls and palm tree okay mm. all right so past energy we got kisses so they were definitely like I feel like there's unconditional love here like this person actually is like was like really really love you okay there's something about giving and receiving affection they were definitely falling in love or truly in love with you okay so we have keys on a ring many options having to make a decision maybe they felt like you were stringing them along too okay for future energy i have love calls someone expressing their love a message of love or they thinking of you and they want to let you know they may pop up to your home they may pop up to your house they may pop up at an event or something that they know that you're going to be at or something in that nature and they're going to be letting you know how they feel about you okay mm -hmm. <laughs> what do they want cancer to know what do they want cancers to know? Fragment. Oh, they're hurting. They're hurting. Oh, they're hurting. Oh, you shattered their confidence. Oh, you shattered their confidence. You broke them down like a fragment. You're breaking them down. Oh, cancers. Oh, cancers. Let's see what action they're going to be taking towards you, cancers. What action are they going to be taking towards my cancers in the near future? What actions are they going to be taking? Oh, that's a lot. We got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This is very playful energy. You could be dealing with a, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but someone who's very, like, you know, kind of flirty, kind of in and out, not really, you know, all the way in, okay? They're like this because I feel like someone here is, you know, playing around, dancing around a commitment. I see marriage here, okay? Someone could, this person could be flighty like that because they are married, okay? Or they're in a long-term commitment already. Somebody could already be in something long-term, okay? Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not, okay? But someone could most definitely already be in a, a commitment here. And that's why they're kind of all over the place, okay? Yeah, like, oh, someone's worried about, this could be like someone, this, this person could tell you that, um, that they're going to break up and that they want a commitment with you, something in regards to that nature, but someone here, there's a breakup or a divorce, okay, something about the past, someone, okay, it looks like they're kind of sad about the breakup from the past, okay, I feel like they're sad. They think about it and they have negative thoughts about it. Okay, they they they're thinking negative. 
about this. But someone here could most definitely be already in a relationship, okay, in some type of commitment. So they're kind of flighty. You know, Knight of Wands is someone who does not want to commit, okay? And I feel like that because they may already be tied into something, okay? They may be already tied into something. But they're looking back at what's, what's going on between you two. They're sad. Someone here is very sad. Okay, someone here is sad, okay? Hmm. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section. Y'all got somebody feeling some type of way. Let's see, Cancers. Does Cancer X want to reconcile with Cancer? Oh, Cancers, look, we got a no. <laughs> we got a no. And it's a strong no. It's a strong no. Like, they don't want to work this out right now. They don't. They don't want to work this out right now. And like I said, this person is very flighty. This person is all over the place. Like, I feel like they already have something going on, okay? I feel like they are already in something for a lot of you. Like, they're already in some type of commitment. Right now, it looks like they're just playing, like, they're just, they have player-like energy, okay? So, you could be most definitely dealing with a player, okay? All right? So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, okay? And I'll talk to y'all later.